Hey guys, guys it's, it's Bentley. Bentley. Welcome back to our channel, guys. And if you guys are new here, I'm Ben. And I'm Lydra. And if you guys are all about food, travel, and adventure, you guys are in the right place because today we are doing uh, homakase. homakase. Let's go. What is a homakase? So, <laughs> a homakase is cut to the next screen. An omakase is a Japanese phrase used when ordering food in restaurants. That means, I'll leave it up to you. So it's a meal consisting of dishes selected by the chef. And in this case, it's a homakase. So we invited Chef Baska to our friend's house to prepare his omakase. Continue watching for an inside look at what an at-home omakase is all about and how you can set up a date to have one as well. Let's eat! All right, welcome. <laughs> so we have a little, like a little setup and everything. So I know you're at um, Cobblestone. Oh, okay. That's awesome. I just there. This is actually my original knife that oh, I started wow. making sushi. Oh. So this one is like. How long have you had that? Was like nice. this long. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. Like this thicker, okay. and it's been like sharpening a long time. You guys from like, California? Sure, <laughs> but, yeah. Cheers, baby. Do you source um, your fish from uh, Japan? So yeah, some of them. Some of them? Yeah, okay. most awesome. fish are from like different places. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now where do you get your where do you get your uni from? So oh, uni is from uh, Santa Barbara. Okay, yes. So this is oh, a yes. yeah, Japanese uh, and uh, wasabi is from Japan, scallop, and uh, yellowtail, and this is uh, mackerel from Spain. And, uh, Whoa! And then what is uh, the the it's, wheat? Uh, so it's from? it's been uh, getting like curing process. Oh, nice! Mm. Well, what's curing in here? Uh, Spanish mackerel. Oh, Spanish mackerel. Yeah. We <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're yeah. just like admiring you right now. <laughs> These are the mise en place. Pretty good. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Oh. Ah, that's how it's. Ooh, ah. Ooh, uh. <laughs> yeah. A whole experience. Okay, so, um, he yeah. was telling us that, uh, oh. Uh, oh. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead, lady. You go, ahead. you do it. I won't be able to okay. appreciate it as much. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Watch out. Yep. So, yes. right, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, sir. And then with the roof of your mouth. Imperial. Oh, yeah. If I could get that was... Mm -mm -mm. Uh, hot tap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Basca. 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 That's definitely like. The scallop crudo was a perfect little starter. The hotate was so tender and sweet. The white ponzu and vinaigrette gave it a pop of citrus and savoriness. What a way to start the meal. I can smell it. <laughs> okay. So having the skin on and searing it gives it more like smoky, a smoky flavor. Flavor, a little ah, char. Okay. Beautiful. Oh yes. I think we're just 
yeah, to travel. Yeah. <laughs> so we're like, okay, we can like take like. The skin on seared salmon with smoky sea salt was spectacular. The salmon was so fatty and soft, so the smoky sea salt helped cut into that richness and add a bit of crunchy texture. The balance of flavors was incredible. We didn't need to add soy sauce to this dish. Alright, this is gonna be negi toro. Oh, negi toro. Oh, oh, oh man. Everything like everything like, but then like growing up my mom loved oh, soy. Peanut, like yeah. this is the one that you don't know if you're sauce was like dessert. How about for your excellent Yeah. I don't there is. Like, yeah, yeah. I like like just stuff. He's gonna have regrets now. <laughs> she really is though. Yeah. Does uh, uh, buddy like? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All you guys. We're definitely. Oh yeah. The soy sauce. Yeah, I might add just a little bit. Yeah, a little soy sauce. It goes a long way. Oh, that's what gives it the texture. Mm, the color. Mm. That's really good. Wow. Oh, it's on. Oh, it's a recording. Yeah, I left it on. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh okay. No soy, yes sure. For when we're eating nigiri. uh nigiri. Cheers. Cheers. Like, where did that third one come from? <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, I love it. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sashimi course consisted of salmon belly, combo cured Spanish mackerel that was seared, yellowtail, akami, which is the lean part of the tuna, and of course, one of our favorite cuts of all, otoro. Each piece of fish was delicious and carried a different flavor profile and texture. Absolutely enjoyed watching Chef Basca break down the filet of fish. You can't have a sushi omakase without the nigiri. All the nigiri pieces were sauced with a soy sauce mixture that Chef Basca makes. First up was the tuna nigiri with a dabble of yuzu peels with chili. Gives it a refreshing citrusy and slight bitterness that complements the fish. Ama ebi or sweet shrimp was so sweet and the uni gave it a creaminess almost acting like an emulsion. Lastly, the smoked Spanish mackerel left a nice, pleasant little perfume of smokiness after eating it. Delicious. understand what it is I want, but then like for, um, yes, <laughs> yes thank you, yes. yes. And uh, we have <laughs> a surf and turf bowl, mm. set of sushi mm. rice, <gasps> real snow crab, <laughs> seasoned with sea salt, wagyu, and caviar. Mm. Oh, I'm so excited. Come here, Jake Chan. The leftovers uh, pieces from previous courses. Big one. That's a big boy. Are you scared to put this in my mouth? Cheers! Cheers. Mm. <laughs>
Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so fatty. <laughs> if you guys want a homakase for yourself, hit up Bosca, Chef Bosca's Instagram on Real Wasabi. The link will be in the description box down below. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video from Binley Eats. Until then, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.